Good morning. Welcome to 50 Questions Friday for January 12th of 2024. Ah, thank you all for joining us here today. It's been a little while since uh, we've done a 50 Questions Friday. Um, so as always, uh, you are welcome to jump on to the chat side. Uh, we have a lot of really knowledgeable, wonderful people that can help clarify questions. And then if you do have a question, please do drop it on the chat tab so that I can find it easily enough here today. So, and as always, let's start by stepping into this safe, sacred container that we call 50 Questions Friday. And we do that by stepping into the heart space first. So if you'd like to join me in this three breath meditation to go into the heart space. <sighs> It is simply closing your eyes, putting your attention onto the physical heart. Imagining connecting heart to heart with the earth and breathing in that light of the earth up through the feet and into the heart and just allowing yourself to sink with the earth, allowing that energy to actually envelop you. You don't go anywhere. She comes to you, just enveloping you with that beautiful, grounding, clearing energy. The next breath, you connect with source, soul, creator, God, however you see and say that, bringing in that light of you with the breath. The third breath, you breathe in that light of creation, that light of earth. You bring them in together through you. And you become the bridge, the conduit between heaven and earth, quite literally. And it moves you into the sacred space of the heart, which is where we like to begin. So anyway, um, hey, John from Mexico. Good to see you here. And yeah, usually on our 50 questions Friday, which we haven't done in several months, um, people jump in in the chat and say hello and where they're from. All right. So we'll begin today with uh, questions that we have from online. And again, this is recorded, put it on YouTube uh, within an hour afterwards. And the recordings on YouTube are also time stamped within the week so that you can easily find questions and the meditations that we do. So we will begin with some questions from the internet. All right. So the first question is from John. My question is, do the wisdom wands purchased mid 2023 have the new energy? If not, what is the protocol to energize them? All right. So there was a thing that came out here um, last summer about the wisdom wands. And when we came out with the newer energetics of the creation field, we were trying to put the creation field energetics into the wisdom, but it does not go automatically. So we actually have a video out there. I believe it's called the Wisdom Wand Webinar. It's the newer one from summer of 2023. And that particular webinar, it walks you into connecting with the creation field so that you can then put the creation field into your wand. But the Wisdom Wands do not hold the creation field automatically. It is something that you must bring in yourself. And again, during that meditation, you're able to do that. And then you can access the creation field through the wisdom wand. All right. So we'll go to the next question here. And it really is good to be back here, you guys. Man, it was like, a, oh gosh, what was it? About six months <laughs> that I was doing some deep integration and just couldn't be here. So I appreciate you all having your patience. I know we tried on YouTube Live a few times and that never worked out. So I took it as a sign for myself to take a little break, but it is good to be back here. Um, another question from Catalin. Could you please create a creation field class bracelet in a creation field practitioner's ring? So with the creation field, the creation field is the culmination of the nothing space and the highest potentials. 
So what we have for practitioner rings is simply that the set of rings that are the highest potentials and the nothing space. Um, I really don't know where we're going with the different energies and the different tools. We're just kind of feeling things as we go here. Um, as far as the clasp goes, um, the highest potential clasp that we have is actually a little bit more into that creation field energetic. And I think if we sit with these silver clasps, the new Heka clasps that just were released here just recently, I believe that um, I believe that is probably closer to that creation creation field energetic than it is the highest potentials. And it's something that we're definitely going to sit with all the tools and go through and update everything here this spring. Um, so yeah, so I guess. Uh, please do send in your requests for the different energetics and the different tools. We do appreciate that. And we're certainly just kind of feeling our way through of uh, what new tools and what new energetics are going to come through. Um, and then the second part of the question is regarding the alchemist Taurus, could you please create a bracelet and or a tensor field generator that would contain the same energetics as the alchemist Taurus? And yes, the alchemist Taurus is a bit pricey, nearly 800 bucks. Um, that particular field, the alchemist, is the wisdom energetics. So how the wisdom energetics came to be was the alchemist uh, fields were a creation of three different fields brought together. And that was the chalice, the divine I am, and the harmonizer. That is what is in the three energetics of that Taurus, because there's three different uh, sizes of rings in there are three different rings and those are the three that make the alchemist energetic or the alchemist trio which is actually the wisdom and our apologies again for all the jargon and the terms and here this spring again when we get our website rebuilt we're going to be renaming a lot of the tools and trying to simplify everything because really that's what 2024 to us is about is simplification um so anyway, with the Alchemist Taurus, you can find that energetic in the Wisdom Tensor Field Generator Bracelet. And yeah, that is just simply the Wisdom Energetics. And then also the pendants, we have the Alchemist Trio, um, or the pendants, the Alchemist, uh, gosh, I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, I think it's the Alchemist Pendant. But it's the trio of three rings that um, we that also carries that wisdom energetics. All right, here is a question from Chris. I was wondering if any of your products are imbued with a 528 hertz love frequency. So, you know, the traditional tensor rings, you would make a tensor ring like the sacred cubit. And when you put it together, it would create 144 megahertz. Uh, frequency of field. And that is it, is the tensor rings are creating fields. Now, as we have moved along, like when the galactic ring first came in, the galactic ascension ring years ago, that was one of the first um, tensor fields that we created that had more than just a single static frequency in it, such as a 432 or a 528. So the fields that we work with now are so far beyond frequency they are dealing in the realm of consciousness and that is what the etheric templates bring through is like for example in any of the rings that you pick up today that we create you can find the properties the frequencies and the consciousness of all the plant crystal mineral kingdoms of the earth um, all the different rays of light uh, that we work with the the source rays, you know, like the violet flame and such, um, and way beyond. But um, basically, what I'm saying is, is that there the 528 frequency is fantastic, but when you bring in some of these other frequencies and properties, and specifically the newest tools um, like the creation field, the highest potentials, those all bring in your soul light. And when your soul steps in, it is full and complete and contains everything in creation, all potentials. And that potential can be the 528 uh, frequency. So if you do wish, you can pick up any of the newer tools, anything from 
um, the alchemist wisdom and forward. And you just sit with that ring or that tool and you simply ask for that specific frequency to come through because that frequency is available within the rings. But there is so much more than just frequencies. Again, these fields contain mm, all known frequencies and beyond. Um, so we don't create a specific ring with 528, but you can pull it out of any ring that we create. All right, let's see. We got one more question from email. Oh, and this was somebody having issues joining with Livestorm. So I will contact them and we will jump in here. All right. Hey, Connie from Maine. Hey, Lauren from Illinois. Good to see you all here. All right, so we'll start with some questions here um, that are dropped on the chat. Actually, we're going to take a commercial break. Yeah, that's right. We're going to start doing commercials here. So let me put on my commercial hat. So I'd like to share with you a new energetic from Twisted Sage Studios, and that is the Infinities. So the Infinities have been around for some time. They're actually a Mobius strip. They are a flattened wire that is twisted and the ends brought back together upon themselves. Let me, let me uh, silence my phone here. Um, so with these Infinities, when you wear an Infinity, it is traditionally the infinity would pull you more into the heart space and it would uh, basically bring in your light more and anybody within the 12 10 to 12 feet of you it would bring in their light more now with the infinities um, we've actually changed the energetics of the infinities and re-released these and so the infinities or the infinite hearts i believe as we call them these now contain the grounding energetics. So when you wear an infinity near your heart, it is connecting you like we did with the three breaths to that crystal sun of the earth. And it is connecting to you in the highest potential ways, um, all of you, your soul. And so when you wear an infinity, it's going to do these things automatically. But when you really tune into it, it is going to bring in a very strong grounding and connection for you. Plus, it brings in this soft white light. This soft white light is a part of your soul light. And this light is so amazing. It clears things with such grace and ease. And when you truly sit and allow this light to come in, not trying to fix or heal or direct the energy, you just simply sit and allow that light to come through. It goes into some of the deepest, darkest recesses of us, and it starts to shift and change those things. Even some of those things that we're not necessarily consciously aware of. So anyway, the infinities, they come in a solid silver as well as a copper, fairly affordable. The copper ones are 36 and the silver ones are 48. And you can wear it with any tools. And especially if you wear it with a crystal, it will connect that energetics of the crystal and the consciousness with you, with the heart. So whatever you wear this with, it just brings it more through the heart. So anyway, there's our commercial for the day. All right. Um, let's see our first question here does the new infinity ground to the earth ah, you're right in the ways standing barefoot on the earth would ground to the earth i have a cat that lives indoors and never has her feet on the ground so yes you know we've traditionally made these infinities for no kill animal shelters because um you know and for animals in general because it takes like a hyperactive dog it calms it down it takes the older dog that's got physical issues and again what it is doing it is grounding their heart to the heart of the earth and again that is such a supportive energy but it also brings in the consciousness of them which is a reflection of your consciousness Critters like to really carry a lot of our crap so if you have a critter that's sick like my sister brenda um Brenda with the elders three that a lot of, you know, 
um, she does distance energy work. And when she works with pets, she's not really working with the pet. She's clearing the pet up. But the pet is usually taking on the energetics and stuff of the owners. So if you're going through a hard time, your pet's probably going through a hard time. The infinities are fantastic. But to answer the question, yes, this does ground because it does have this new energetics of that crystal sun of the earth, that very tangible grounding. And with this grounding, um, they use it in different modalities, such as radionics, where they have to have the, the units grounded with the earth. And where people live in apartment buildings and such, they simply put a larger ring around these radionics units. And yes, it very much does ground them into the earth. So any of our grounding rings or the infinities do ground you like your feet on the ground. It is a bioelectric connection. So it is connecting the electromagnetics of you to the electromagnetics of the earth. And so you don't need your feet on there, but it is bringing a much deeper connection than just the electromagnetic connection because it is more of a connection of light and of consciousness. Um, so yes, the infinities are fantastic for critters who never get to go outside for sure. Uh, next question, how will the new infinite heart and the creation field coil work together and what will the effects be? So adding a, an infinity, the infinite heart, to like a coil pendant, when you add it to a coil pendant, it is going to more connect that with that troidal field of the heart because the coil pendants do create that tube torus, that troidal field. And so when you put an infinity on there, it totally connects that field into the field of the heart. And then plus it is bringing in more of that grounding. So yes, if you want to change the energetics of your tools, add an infinite heart to it because it is going to bring in that higher light of you and it is going to bring in that tangible grounding. So yeah, I would totally suggest trying out an infinity with your quant or with your creation field coil. All right. Going back to chat here. Uh, Vina, you just got the highest potentials 15 inch ring. So awesome. I can hear it singing heavenly and angelic, <laughs> right? I know it is a beautiful energy. The highest potentials are um, because it is the light of you. It is the highest potentials of your soul that it holds for you. And it is a beautiful thing. Hey, Ray, good to see you here. All right. So anyway, that looks like our questions for today already. I know this was kind of a a short notice to join us here today. Um, I guess I'll make a few other announcements. One of them is, again, you've probably seen it on our website, the Infinite Light Pendant 2.0. The Infinite Light Pendant 2.0 is one of our newest and most phenomenal energetics. It does what the infinities do in that it, it is working from your heart to the heart of the earth, your heart to the heart of creation, you, and it is a very tangible grounding and connecting, just like doing the Trinity breath. Um, but then when you do the Trinity breath with the infinities, it is so much exponentially more, but this infinite light pendant, it does all that the infinities do, but this particular energetic, it is, it is bringing in that soft white light, just like the infinities, but it is also holding a space for that new light body, that golden light body that is made up of the wisdom of lifetimes and the soul. And it is something new on the planet. It has been fostering within us for those who are allowing of it and are on that path. It has been fostering within us since last March of 2023. And it is really starting to present. And so I noticed that when people are wearing the infinite light 2.0, not only is it bringing in that soft white light, which is helping to clear those stuck energies and old creation into wisdom, light, and consciousness, because that's what your light does is it'll take an entire lifetime or experience, you know, bringing in as wisdom, AKA light and consciousness. And so as you amass more of that light and consciousness, that is what creates this new golden light body. And this particular pendant, the infinite light 2.0, 
holds the space for that new light body to really start to step into your field. Um, and it is next level for a certain. So this is an amazing pendant. And it's actually the only thing I've been wearing for several weeks. I've taken off all my other tools um, just because this is such a very sweet, soft, powerful, and grounding energy. Um, so anyway, that's one of the other new tools. Um, we are also going to do, now I know a lot of people join 50 Questions Friday to do the meditations, the activations, the attunements, the things that we do often here. Um, and I do encourage you to go back through the 50 Questions Friday on YouTube and check out some of those meditations. But my announcement is, is that we're also going to begin to do a um, Wisdom Circle Wednesday. And this is truly a sacred container where we all come together. And I see it as almost like we, we sit around this giant ring. It's like a round table. And as we all step up into this field, our wisdom is all contained right there. It's like we set our wisdom onto the table and it's like a sharing space so that when others step to the table, they receive what it is that they need to receive of your wisdom. It is simply a light that ref refracts onto them and they receive that information. So it's not, um, yeah, it, it's a very safe, sacred space. Um, so it's not depleting or anything of that nature. You're not sharing a finite amount of energy. You are just simply bringing your wisdom to the table to share with others. And I'll be doing a lot of guided meditations. We'll be doing energy work there that people that have something stuck will basically go through and go through some processes. And that way everybody can not only um, witness and see these uh, processes in action and the results, but they can also lend their own wisdom in this field to those that were, that are all there in that space. So anyway, that will be coming up. So look for an email with that particular, um, registration for the wisdom circle Wednesdays and our 50 questions Friday is going to be every other week as I can. And then our wisdom circle Wednesday Wednesdays will be of every other week between those. So, um, we're probably going to have four different webinars a month. So you'll be able to register for those. Those are going to be free. We are going to end up putting a donation button on our website, especially for the Wisdom Circle Wednesdays. I want this to be free for everybody. Well, available and accessible for everybody. But we really would love to receive donations for that time and for the expensive platform that we have to utilize to broadcast these. So anyway we will give that opportunity to everybody at that time um oh yeah one more new product that's coming out everybody and that is the halos now we've all loved the halos they were a great one in 2020 they did a brain balancing because in 2020 we were seeing that mm, there was some huge imbalances in the brain in the conscious well in the brain of people on the planet because well, because so much light is coming in and it is restructuring, um, it, 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 it was totally restructuring the mind and the halos that we created at that time were fantastic for that because they did a brain balancing and opening and activation, but they got to be to where, um, that energy was no longer really comfortable as we progress forward in time, especially after this last year, um, you know, with all these different openings in in creation this um well this opening that we talk about on march 22nd which you can certainly go back and check out some of those videos from last march where we've done a lot of attunements activations and speaking of that entire opening in the field of consciousness for humanity and beyond um but since that time the these brain balancers were not as comfortable because they were kind of trying to force things. So the new halos, they're not going to be available with the infinity. They're just the simple plain halo, which 
gosh, I usually wear mine every day for the past two weeks. Um, but this is simply bringing more light into the brain, into the mind. And when you are bringing your light into the mind, it starts to clear away a lot of those old patterns. You know, um, St. Germain would say that 90% of our thoughts are not ours. They could be mass consciousness. They could be hereditary. They could be from old lifetimes. And so when we start to bring that light into the brain, into the mind, it begins to clear all that. And again, you don't need a halo to do that. Um, what I would suggest is to do the meditation that we did recently on this wonderful tool, the Infinite Light 2.0. So you can go to twistedsage.com, go to Infinite Light 2.0. That meditation will be there or else it's also on YouTube. But that one is one that we were taking our mind and grounding it to the earth, taking our body, grounding it to creation. And that does the same thing, grounding your mind with the earth, grounding your mind with God with the light of creation, um, it changes everything in the mental and your perceived awareness. All right. Hey, Rich Claire, happy new year. And it is going to be a fantastic new year. It is a beautiful slipstream. Um, and again, if you're still kind of, uh, fighting different issues in your world, um, please do join us for the Wisdom Circle Wednesdays because we're going to be sharing not only a lot of mm, cognitive mental information, but just the space in the field that we're all going to create together next Wednesday. And we're going to keep adding to this space. And by just being in this space, it can allow huge shifts in your world because we're all bringing our wisdom at the table. And when you sit at that table, and you allow big things will happen. So yes, please do join us because it is going to be a beautiful 2024 and yeah, no need to struggle. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. So if there are no more questions here this morning, I guess we will call it good for the day. Um, and again, I appreciate you all showing up here today. We have 22 live. I know we had a uh, hundred or so that registered. So, um, if you're watching this after the fact, uh, we hope you join us live sometime and we'll start doing more of the meditations, attunements, activations, and those things here, as well as on the wisdom circle Wednesday. So, all right, everybody, thanks again for being here and we will see you next time, two weeks from now or else next Wednesday. All right. Happy New Year. Take care.